According to 2014 reports from the Center of Disease Control, there are an estimated 1.7 to 3.8 million traumatic brain injuries, also known as TBIs, every year in the United States. These contribute to over 50,000 deaths annually. In more recent years, sports-related TBIs have become an important health issue, as this silent epidemic affects everyone, from people like you and I to professional athletes. Traumatic brain injury knowledge as well as TBI awareness have grown rapidly in recent years as research has increased on both short-term symptoms and long-term effects of repeated TBIs throughout a lifetime. Today, I hope to inform you about acute traumatic brain injuries, the long-term effects of repeated TBIs, and lastly, the increased efforts to stop this problem. Do we have any athletes or sports fans here today? Well, of the multi-million traumatic brain injuries reported every year, about 10% of those are attributed to sports or recreational activities. Just under half of those, 45%, are in ch child or adolescent athletes. And this was reported in the 2012 issue of Rehabilitation Research and Practice Medical Journal. Obviously, athletes aren't the only ones at risk of a traumatic brain injury. The CDC states that simply falling uh, accounts for 40% of reported cases. I have seen a variety of such injuries just within our own community. As an aspiring occupational therapist, I've shadowed at rehabilitation clinics where patients come in with traumatic brain injuries raging, raging from uh, acute to very severe. In addition, uh, I played soccer both recreationally and competitively for 11 years. I saw TBIs occur on the field to opponents, teammates, and even to myself. According to the CDC, acute traumatic brain injuries now uh, um, encompass concussions, and that's what I experienced when I was playing soccer. Concussions are the most common sports-related TBI, with numerous short-term symptoms that can get worse if the symptoms are um, neglected. The National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke state that uh, concussion symptoms include, but are not limited to, headaches, dizziness, and impaired cognition. If the concussion is severe, other symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, affected sleep schedule, and dilated pupils. Another common misconception about concussions are that you have to be knocked out to actually have traumatic brain injuries. According to the CDC, though, acute traumatic brain injuries can occur without any loss of consciousness. That's why it's important to note that symptoms may occur later on and they might not be apparent right after an injury. In addition, these symptoms can occur for weeks if they're not um, treated at the time of injury. That's why it's important to never shake it off and just continue playing because you really might not know how hurt you are. In more recent years, the long-term effects of re repeated concussions in high-contact occupation have been examined. Long-term effects of TBIs include numerous detriments from degenerate brain disease to chronic depression. In 2012, research at the Boston University School of Medicine examined 85 brain samples from individuals who experienced repeated TBIs throughout their lifetime. A lot of them are NFL and CFL players. According to the New York Times reporting of the study, 80% of these samples showed evidence of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, which is defined as a degenerate and incurable disease with symptoms that can include memory loss, dementia, and depression. This brain disease varies in severity from stage 1 to 4. You can see here on the top, um, this is a normal brain, and this is one with stage 4 CTE. You can see the darkened and the injured areas. Once symptoms pass, headaches and attention concentration issues, that's when second and third and fourth degree CTE set in, and that's when depression becomes prevalent. Uh, research conducted by the doctors at Washington School of Medicine in Seattle in 2010 uh, did a study where they uh, took men who had tra traumatic brain injuries throughout their whole lifetime and compared um, their prevalence of major depressive disorder to the general population. It was found that in the research there was an eight times higher um, likelihood of having depression. And this research was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. And it just furthers the base of knowledge about the psychological impairments that can happen, um, the long-term effects, in addition to the cognitive and physical, which are normally covered. There are many high-profile tragic examples of this link. 
Um, David Dorison, who so shown here, was a career NFL player who committed suicide in 2011. His samples were included in the Boston University study, as you can see here, and he had um, stage 3 CTE at the time of death. And that was according to the New York Times. Because of the increased attention on social media and in the medical world, uh, campaigns to raise awareness and um, improve the protocol for uh, TBIs have been uh, introduced into the world. Since 2011, 44 states, including Washington, D.C., have introduced new laws regulating TBIs and how they're um, handled. These laws usually have to do with either educating the coaches, the players, and also the detailed protocol about how to actually handle it when a child is hurt in youth sporting events. From state to state, it differs, but overall, there is an effort being made. There's also an abundance of campaigns just to raise awareness and get information out there to the public. The CDC has the Heads Up campaign, which um, is free information to anyone who's interested, and that can be found on their website. They'll also ship you pamphlets, show you videos. Anyone who's interested is able to get the information to them. In conclusion, traumatic brain injuries have a wide spectrum of causes and severities, all the consequences that can change someone's life. Sports-related TBIs, ranging from mild concussions to long-term brain tissue damage, are an ongoing problem that medical professions and organizations are trying to resolve. In the words of President Obama this past May at the Youth Sports Concussion Seminar, reported on by ESPN, we want our kids participating in sports. As parents, though, we want to keep them safe, and that means we have to have better information. With politicians, researchers, and other powerful figures showing concern, it is clear that TBIs will continue to stay in the public eye and be an important topic in future.